Надо работать, а не разговаривать, по-моему. We should, we should all of us work and not speak. <laughs> well said, Igor. Хорошо сказано. We're talking with Dr. Igor Charkovsky, who is the father of the water birth method and a physician from Moscow. Dr. Charkovsky, can you tell us something about uh, the water birth method? Расскажите нам что-нибудь о методе рождения в воде. Я думаю, что о нем мало кто знает. It is practically nobody who uh, now has got a lot of information about it, although it is gradually becoming more and more popular. A normal baby who has experienced water birth can swim, uh, let us say, the ocean very easily. Это практически водное существо, которое адаптировано к воде лучше, чем к условиям суши. And a baby, it is uh, practically a sea creature who is better adapted to live in the water than uh, on uh, Earth. Это существо, которое не просто способно обитать, оно способно обитать в среде, которая дает ему огромные оккультные, психические, не говоря уже о физических возможностях. And such a baby is not only adapted to the sea and to the water, but it is also adapted to the giant occult properties revealed by water and the world ocean. Uh, the Bible says us that uh, the earth uh, stands on the whales, and I can say that such sea creatures as whales, they reveal us a lot of hidden knowledge on our evolution. The first water births uh, have uh, been um, taking uh, place together with the dolphins and my initial idea what was that dolphins were very necessary for this kind of birth. World religions like Christianity, they are also founded on similar, similar information. So normally I think uh, children should be submerged into the water and then to swim with the dolphins so that practically every, uh, everyone, every of them could swim hundreds of miles. So this is not simply a matter of creating a less traumatic birth for infant and mother. This is more a mysticism of water itself, a kind of religion of the aqueous dimension, is that right? Let us begin with that the humanity, the human species in general nowadays is uh, mentally disturbed. Те роды, которые сейчас существуют, они практически кастрируют человека, его духовные и физические возможности тоже. The birth methodologies that we've got nowadays, they they are very likely to castrate mentally the persons who are being born. And if we take normal uh, children after water birth being born under water, the society did a lot and is constantly doing a lot in order to destroy the unique abilities that have been revealed by way of this, of this water birth. A child having experienced water birth practices a sort of pranayama, one can say, uh, it uh, can uh, hold its breath uh, for several minutes. And I would like to point out that the Russian clairvoyant and uh, researcher Tsiolkovsky wrote in the beginning of the century that children after water birth could develop their clairvoyant abilities and develop the uh, potentialities of their brain. 
Кролики, которые рождают под водой, не живут в три раза, и мозг их значительно более совершенный. Кролики. So do you believe that this is the the original method of human birth and that somehow we lost this practice through history and now must regain it? Is that your notion? Undoubtedly, and uh, the human species, like any other species existing now on uh, the ground, on the earth, they've got a history that includes also the uh, water existence. Uh, our civilization constantly destroys the great abilities given by the tr having been given to the children by nature. For instance, I can say that children of four, five, six months Then can make, they can make mountain climbing, they can uh, jump easily, for instance, from this particular table, and they can, can reveal various other incredible things. So obviously your method of birth is not widely used. Are you an optimistic person in terms of the human situation or are you feeling pessimistic as we approach the next millennium? Twenty years ago uh, that Boris Ivanov predicted that by the second millennium it will be about 60% of American babies who will be delivered by means of water birth. Он оказался оптимистом. Я думаю, что американцы не успеют к этому времени так перестроиться. Если бы у них были такие условия, как uh, тот геноцид, который мы создали на нашей территории, так сказать, в бывшем СССР, то, возможно, они бы быстрее перестроились, потому что... Probably the Americans could have been more rapid if they could have uh, had something like the Holocaust that he, we have experienced in uh, the Soviet system after these years. Now, there have been a lot of cases when mothers waiting babies, they were uh, really irradiated 30 years before Chernobyl, for instance, in the Republic of Kazakhstan. So for many of them, this uh, attempt of giving water birth was like an attempt to give a better future for their babies who were very probable to be already sick. And, for instance, I have uh, myself experienced a lot of premature births uh, because of these disturbances caused by negative influence of radiation and of similar factors. And it was my idea to uh, take uh, these, uh, chil these children, these babies, into the liquid uh, surrounding and in this way to, 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 to try to save them. Then nearer to the topic of our conference, the theme of anabiosis. For instance, I firmly believe that there are such cases when babies have been hexed. And my impression is uh, that one shouldn't supply energy for them in this state, but uh, quite uh, 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 directly opposite. One should uh, uh, slow down uh, the processes, their energetic balance, to take them out of this negative state in a slow way. Now the rate of survival of children being held underwater is much higher than the rate of survival of babies uh, in so-called normal conditions. It has been shown by a number of physiological studies. And uh, for instance, if the babies have already got some disturbances, primarily heart disturbances, I would say that water births or just uh, spending a lot of time in the water is uh, equal for them with, uh, for instance, the massage of the heart, the direct massage. Mm -hmm. It is uh, really producing incredible results and I think that by means of contraction of veins and of arteries and of the corresponding uh, changes in the uh, blood, one can um, produce sort of another heart of uh, another physiological organ inside the body created by means of, the, of new но это при одном условии, чтобы люди, которые находятся, были психически здоровы. Потому что если при курах 
Now the main problem is that the mother and the people attending to this, they should be normal and they should be very positive to this kind of treatment and of lifestyle because very frequently, for instance, if the hen is desperately worried about her child, the chicken can die because of this particular anguish. Отсюда появляются дельфины, потому что дельфин обладает могучим сильным полем, и когда он плод берет свое, так сказать, покровительство или касатка, то она снимает вот то, что называется эволюционным неврозом, который парализует не только наше мышление, фантазию. I would call such kind of things evolutionary neuroses, which paralyzes a lot of positive abilities of the baby and this is why I tend to use uh, to uh, use to recur to the help of dolphins who've got a wonderful energetic field. It must have been very difficult for you as a kind of visionary and mystic to spread these sorts of ideas inside a social system that was so largely materialistic. Has it been easier for you since the changes in the uh, Soviet Union? I have, I have to tell you that there is a great lot of mystics and mystically minded people in Russia and they have been constantly working all the time. Probably they were unable to produce as many books or various other materials as in the West. But uh, this hidden culture has been very, very very active in my country. I will tell you quite frankly about my problems. For instance, I come to the West and I submerge the baby under the water and then I freeze it for 24 hours and then I put a thermometer into his rectal, uh, rectal, how do you call it, rectal? Rectum. Rectum, yes. Mm -hmm. And I take his temperature and it is five degrees lower than normal. And then you, you understand very well that the doctors attending to the baby are very much against it. Значит, в год я привез во Францию парня, который может проплыть 100 километров. Я показал, они побоялись это зарегистрировать. For instance, I have brought a one-year-old child, one-year-old baby to France, who could at that time swim about 60 miles. And they were, uh, my impression is that they were simply afraid of the baby and it is not registered anywhere. It's just... Uh, Japanese know uh, For instance, the Japanese have got uh, quite enough information uh, uh, during the last 30 years, but I don't know about a single case of water birth in Japan during this time. Шведы 15 лет издали книжку, ни одна шведка не родила в воде, родила из Ленинграда двоих ребенка и мигрантка. Наша, так сказать. Хотя у них эти книги продаются везде, так сказать. Вот вам оккультная подготовка. There is a, a, book, a special book written in Swedish and that you can buy everywhere and there is a lot of information about water birth by the Swedes and I know about only one case and that was by a woman who emigrated to Sweden from Russia. So this is the the occult, the occult uh, life of the West, which is very well developed, but still there are problems. Теперь с Америкой такая же история. Now let's come to the United States. Американцы пишут о том, что вот они учат плавать. Ни один ребенок, младенец, не научен плавать, хотя система, так сказать, была опубликована, неоднократно заявлена, что младенцы могут проплывать километры. Now, there is quite enough information being published and uh, produced by mass media in the United States that children can swim several miles in a row and there is a methodology of teaching them to swim. Ни одного младенца нет. Они and даже still, не хотят его обучать никого. Ни still, одного, на всю Америку. I don't know a single case in all the United States, a single baby who would have been taught this methodology. Mm -hmm. What kind of a world would we have if everyone had been born according to your methods? Uh, I wouldn't call it my methodology, it's just primarily an, evolu an evolutionary methodology. One could say that a baby uh, has already got hidden knowledge about the trauma uh, that is waiting for him because of the gravitation. 
during uh-huh. the birth. Uh-huh. And so it doesn't develop, uh, develop the brain and its capacities. Поэтому то есть эти программы закладываются, чтобы рожали все время ограниченных людей с ограниченным мозгом. So the program is that the babies should be born with smaller brain, smaller heads. I would say that human species are not uh, simply handicapped. We are, uh, in some sense of the word, corpses, because we don't use the better and the bigger part of our Earth, which is water. Would uh, <coughs> sense of gravity seems to be the problem here? Would birth in the weightlessness of space be the equivalent to water birth? No, it wouldn't be equivalent. Producing our space programs, uh, we have made a giant, uh, a giant holocaust of our culture, uh, the best of our science and the general of our world life. Uh, in the water, it is not space programs because in the water you don't need clothes, you don't need all these libraries. Ребенок очень быстро входит в состояние и видит все прошлое. Значит, история, которую мы берем, так сказать, на каждом шагу, так сказать, ему нет необходимости. Ему нет необходимости в этой дорогостоящей, экологически ущербной, так сказать, цивилизации, которая уничтожает планету, так сказать, И делает человека рабом, так сказать, тех услуг, которые обходятся в это самоубийство, так сказать. Such a, such a baby doesn't need to be a slave of all these modern industrial capacities and of all these high technologies. So is this the answer that the world is waiting for? Is this the secret that would bring это us есть back? Та вещь, которую мир ожидает, это и есть тот секрет, который приведет нас назад. А, ну, не просто везет, мы уже, по-моему, в этой пропасти уже летим. Вопрос, <laughs> как мы там зацепимся за что-нибудь and so we should give birth a new surrounding so that we shouldn't give birth to children to babies getting uh, uh, into the same wrong system so a new birth would mean a new world of a sort being born uh, into the new world being born into nature being born into creative uh, into creative display of abilities of the dolphins and then feeling all uh, during all life the uh, 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 well being uh, linked to this so natural this, world the, the complete seamless web of life is what you come to appreciate if you have this kind of birth method uh, in your path yes and so i would say and the other way city. that being born into the gravitation world is already a trauma and a disaster. One has to reverse it. Birth should bring you primarily, primarily to living through your earlier incarnations. So primarily to change one excellent condition that is the condition inside the loving mother into another good ambience that is water. And secondly to, to have creative intercourse with such creatures as dolphins. So these are the two keys. Два ключа, вы бы сказали, такие вот основные Да там, может, и больше, я не знаю. Probably much, much more. Much more. Well, thank you very much for talking with us today. It's a Большое спасибо за то, что вы нам говорили. Надо работать и не разговаривать, по-моему. We should, we should all of us work and not speak. <laughs> well said, Igor. Thank you. Cut. Thanks very much. Thank very you. interesting thank stuff. You. That was great. Really <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do we have an answer to Dan Quayle? <laughs>